Neil, good to see you again. Uh, going into Saturday, do you have any fresh injury concerns or can you welcome anyone back for the visit of Norwich? Uh, not really. I don't think there's anybody, you know, um, they're not far away. I think, you know, David's got a chance for next weekend, I think, and Tom definitely after the international break. So they're, they're both training hard, but I don't think we've lost anybody. One or two knocks, yeah. but nothing, nothing in particular. Good news. Um, looking back on Middlesbrough, now that the dust has settled, how do you rate the performance and the point? Well, it's been really like every game that we've played so far, really. Uh, there's times we've done really well. We could have won every game and we could have lost every game. Uh, and that sums our season up so far, really. Um, but it's it's one that, I, you know, I thought we played some good stuff at times. It's just taking the opportunities when you get them. And that, and that goes right back to Plymouth, really. So we've just got to persevere. We've got a good group. The trying, I, I can't really get any more effort out of them. It's, you know, it's just the finishing product, really. Yeah, you can certainly see that. I asked Danny the same, and albeit it wasn't all three, does it almost feel like you've got over that first hurdle getting that first point on the board? It does. I mean, it's, it's nice to get a point on board. Um, but I think the fixtures have been a little bit... <laughs> I don't think they've helped me out, really. I mean, after three games like we've had, and then we get Norwich. You know, it's, uh, we don't deserve that, really. <laughs> if, if you think of the performance against Leicester and, and against Middlesbrough, that must give you comp and even the run last season, Neil. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they oh, it does. I think I think we can. I think we can give teams a good game. Do you know? Um, I mean, I looked at Norwich uh, last week, and and they looked the nearest thing to Burnley. Really, I thought you know Davies got a, you know moulded a really good side. He did all his signings early on in the close season, which is important, really. And then you can build your team. So it doesn't surprise me that they're, they're flying. I think they'll be one of the really pushing for automatic this year. Feels there's so many teams in that. Yeah, there's the 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 like two halves, isn't there, really? Yeah. 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 Or three thirds, whichever. Going into, well, going back to last week, it's the first time we've properly spoken. A couple of news coming out of the club. One was Kyle Hudlin signing a new deal. Just your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, Kyle, I mean, he, I decided to take him out of Cornwall and he's done ever so well yeah. and uh, he deserved a better deal than he was on so you know and, and we, we're talking to Kieran Harris as well you know they're both both in the same mould really uh, the contracts that they were on weren't rewarding for anybody that's in the first team squad and with the numbers being short they are in the squad these two so I think it was only natural that you reward them for that uh, but they've got a long way to go they're only on the first first rungs of the ladder uh, but they're both level-headed, sensible lads, and uh, I think you know it'll be interesting what they do this season. The contribution on that contribution so far in the first four games, if you include the cup game, how have you rated them both? Uh, they, they, they're both very good lads. They, they do exactly what I tell them. They, they try hard, and uh, you can't expect any more. Kieran's got an eye for goal. Uh, Udders is is one of the best finishers at the club. Um, it's getting in the system that we can play him. Are you with me? Um, I think you really have to play probably two strikers to for, to get the best out of uh, others. Uh, whereas Kean, I think Kean could do Wardy's job, um, and I think he's you know he's always likely to score a goal. A bit like you know, uh, I think that's what you want from your strikers. Yeah. And Berg's all coming into the club as well. Just your thoughts on on his arrival. And yeah, I mean, he's, you know, we we just needed a few faces really, and uh, uh, hopefully another one uh, the weekend. Um, it's nice to get somebody in different and the conversation in the dressing room etc nice lad good lad can, and can play different positions up there up the middle uh, up the you know up front uh, done better he's done the best work he's done on the left but he's played on the right and in the hole there so he's, he's different options going into the final throws of the transfer window with a any other areas that you're really keen to get sorted? Yeah, with? absolutely. Yeah, we you know we're still desperate for a, another striker, really, a target man. Um, we've we've had quite a few offers go in, and we've been disappointed, really. Um, some of the players that we've had on our list for a few weeks have gone elsewhere, or look as though they're going to go elsewhere. Uh, it's always disappointing that, but you know you've got what you've got, really. Norwich coming to town at the weekend, the highest scorers in the division so far. They've had some start but you've proved against the likes of Leicester City that your team will certainly give them a good game yeah I think I think it's going to be our most difficult game I know Leicester was really difficult but these lads are flying really um, 
the stuff that David's got on playing is, you know, they've got Narcus there. He'll be telling them all, Narcus, how, how we play and all that. They'll have been working on all our things this week. So it, it will be difficult. Um, and I'll, I hope Norwich do go up personally because I think, I think it's a lovely club. I mean, I've always got on well with Delia and, and everybody down there. And, and David's, like I said, he's a, he's a, he's a good bloke, David. So um, we, we'll be trying to get a result against them. But and, and don't kid myself how difficult it's going to be because, as you said, I mean, apart from giving a 96th minute goal away, they'd have been three out of three, wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, you know, so it, we, know, we know how difficult it's going to be. What we've got to try and do is make sure we give them a game. You know, our season won't be defined by Norwich City's result against Norwich City. It'll be over the next few months and, you know, a, a lot of clubs that we're playing that's going to be around that mid-table, bottom half, are you with me? But I think Norwich will be at the top end most of the season, really. Just on Norwich, when we've, when we've had conversations, Neil, and especially this season, the amount of your former clubs you're coming up against, you, you must have at some point had contact from Norwich in your career. Is, is there a story there? Have they ever been oh, in touch? You've heard about that one, haven't you? That's why, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, did, I, did, I went for an interview down there once, a uh, big boardroom. Uh, Delia wasn't in the boardroom, but there were about seven or eight gentlemen in there. And the first guy just looked at me and said, Mr. Warnock, do you think our fans would like your style of football? So underneath, I took a deep breath and I thought, underneath, I thought, I'm not getting this job anyhow. So I looked at every one of them in the eyes all the way around the table, slowly, as slowly as that. And I said to him, yeah, I think the fans would love to win games. Yeah. That was Norwich, was it? That was Norwich. <laughs> so... Uh, I didn't get the job. <laughs> I think they give it Bruce Rioch. I think, I think he was the one that got it. Um, but it's always been a nice, a nice club. Yeah. And, um, you know, over the years, they've always played the game right and the fans have always been good. So I've, always, I've had some good battles against them over the years. You know, some good times as well against them. I think we went up at Cardiff uh, by beating them down there. So it's, um, I'm looking forward to it. I know we're underdogs and I know... You know what expectations are, but every game we go into thinking that we can win it if we, you know, if things go our way. Yeah. And as we say, the performances so far this season against some of those teams who are fancy. Would I couldn't ask any more, really. Yeah. Um, you know, we have made mistakes that probably I wouldn't have expected um, to, to people to make the mistakes that we've made. But you can't just blame one person. You've just got to get on with it, really. And it, we're we're all in it together, really. And that's what we have. And if they give me everything tomorrow and it doesn't, it's not enough on Saturday, sorry, um, I, won't have a, I won't have a go at them because I know in training what they're doing and they, they are giving the best, really. Thanks for your time. Good luck Cheers. for it. Thank Thanks, Lloyd. Thank you. Thank you. you are unbeaten versus David Wagner. I don't know if you realised that. No, I didn't know that. There you go. Does that give you any... Long may <laughs> continue. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that, that game... The equivalent fixture last season was a bit of a, a turning point for your team. Wasn't it was, it? yeah. I mean, they, they battered us, didn't they, for the first half. Um, really could have been out of sight, but we hung in there. And then I thought we did well second half. Thought we could, you know, we could have pinched it in the end. So it was a it just showed you. I think they're a better team than last year. If I'm honest, I think they've got one or two good players in. You know, Barnsley. I've, you know, I've been after him for eight years. Um, you know, he'll referee the game tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I don't know who will, the assist, his assistant will be in black, um, but uh, he's always I've always enjoyed a, a good battle with him. You know what you're going to get. Um, you know, tried to sign him many times, but um, never never quite could manage it. And and then you look at the others and the good the good pros, some of them lads and they've got now they've got a lovely mixture of youth as well. You know, I mean the lad who scored last week low that was as good a goal as I've seen this season. And so, you know, you've got a bit, a bit of everything. So, yes, we, had, we look at it and we know they're a good side, but, into, you know, let's have a go at them. You know, it's another challenge. I, I said you can have a few days off in a week after West Brom. You know, let's give these two games a, a real good go. Yeah, I think likes of them and Leicester maybe aren't going to have teams having a go at them quite as much as, as your side are. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know, if I'm honest. I think, um, you know, the games I've seen them play... I don't, I don't know whether it's the opponents not doing it, Stephen, or whether Norwich have just been too good, yeah. really. Um, you know, the way they played, they should have definitely beat Southampton. 
the way they played. And uh, and last week it was a, a real one-sided game. Last week I was surprised. Last week and disappointed as well. I was disappointed for for Gary. I, I didn't think he deserved the stick he got from the the crowd at Millwall after what he's done for that club over a number of years. Uh, after three games to get the abuse he got, I thought that was a disgrace, really. You know. So, but the, you know, Norwich did play well, and um, you know I, that's why I hope that we can give him a game. Um, with the transfer window, we talked about the. Potential ins? Are there any more potential outs you might make before? Yeah, there's, there's quite a few. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um, nothing as we talk, Stephen. Um, but it's one of those that I think um, as soon as anything happens, you'll 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 know. Are you with me? We'll let you know about that. With the local local press. But one or two lads, I think you know, I've got to go out on loan. So I'm working on probably three or four lads going out on loan. Um, as long as we can get a couple in. You know, uh, and we'll probably leave the striker till the last minute again and see if anybody comes available that we might just have a gamble on. Um, so you, you just don't know with the transfer window, really. I came to watch the B team the other day, and Kieran Phillips was back. That's good news. Uh, I know you were a bit worried about him. Yeah, he, he did half an hour, didn't he? You know, and uh, he's desperate to go out on loan, uh, Kieran. I mean, it, it's a little, little bit. I wanted to see him for myself before he went out on loan. But then he went and picked this other injury up and he's not been able to show me what he can do really. He's desperate to play for Huddersfield. And he, you know, he said if he, I've said, well, if you go out on loan, then we'll have a call back in, in, in Christmas. And, um, and then if you do well, you can come and prove yourself here. And that's how I've left it with him. Uh, because he has got something I like, but I haven't seen enough, unfortunately. And you know the wind are coming so quickly, he probably needs three or four weeks to get up to scratch. Are you with me, Stephen? And I, so it's better for him to go out on loan, even though we are short. I think we'll we'll you know we'd let him out on loan and uh, get some games under his belt. Quite a few clubs have been after him. Same with Maloney. There's a few clubs been after him, and uh, we've had a couple of offers for some of the other lads as well. So we'll we'll make a decision on some of those. And you to Nakayama got a couple of the goals in that game. How how close is he to sort of breaking into yours? Where would you play him, Stephen? That's the question, isn't it? Is he can play I read your column and I thought, well, I'll, I'll have to ask Stephen when I see him. <laughs> that's, that's Where would you issue. play him? Because Josh has been so reliable for you, hasn't he? So, He's our best defender, really. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to take him out. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's how you could get him in with Josh. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we have looked at the 5 3 2 system. Are you with me? But I, don't, I think if we played it against teams like Leicester and Norwich, we'll get absolutely cut yeah. to shreds, really. I don't think we could cope with the, the, the way they pass the ball around. So, you know, I'd probably up our sleeves that to have a look at. And, you know, so it's still not really what I call match fit. Yeah. Uh, because the B team doesn't really push him, you know. And I see things in training where he's not quite there defensively at the moment. Um, keeping with his man at certain things. Are you with me? Yeah. When the intensity is a bit more than the B team. But a great goal, wasn't it? Yeah. Dear yeah. mate, what a goal. That hit. It's the uh, first thing he said to Raj actually was, um, you know, you congratulate him on the goals and then he, he just went, yeah, but I need to defend more. Is that sort of the message? <laughs> oh, good, yeah, that's right, yeah. He did, he did a couple of things in the game which showed he's not quite there. Are you with me? Because the thing is, he found it too easy, didn't he? You know, and, and but we wanted to get him ninety minutes. So, you know, I, you know, I didn't feel sorry for the Lincoln lads, but it's like Jonesy. Yeah. You know, I mean, Jonesy was unbelievable, wasn't he? Yeah. So I went on the to their bench in the first half, and I said, "Just tell them I'm taking him off at half time." You know? <laughs> I felt sorry for the full back, young full back. Um, so I said, "Yeah, tell them I'm taking him off." Then you put on Aaron Rose. Yeah. <laughs> not, not much slower. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but he's Aaron Rose. A funny one. He seemed to be breaking through a few years ago, but has been so, not really near. No, the side he's been there. a backwards. See, I would loan Aaron now. We've got a couple of people asking us, so we, you know, if there's anything concrete, we probably will. They, they all need to play games, these lads. Um, but we've got to just make sure we're not too short of numbers. At the same time, as trying to help them benefit their career. Yeah.